guys know what that means, don't you? There he comes, yep, come on. There he goes. <laughs> yeah, go get it. Yeah, sir. There you go. Hey guys, Ron Anik here at the Black Axe Ranch in Sturgeon Lake, Minnesota. Welcome back to our channel. As you can see back there, Nikolai and I. Yep. There he is. <laughs> Nick and I are out, uh, well, we're giving him some treats and, uh, you know, doing a fence check here, just making sure everything's okay. As you can see in the background, we got, in fact, I don't see a cloud any, oh, there's some clouds over there. Oh yeah. Yeah, otherwise beautiful weather. Warm, a little warm for this time of year. It got up to like 85, I think, today, which in Minnesota, that's a heat wave, so we could do without that. But we'll be sliding into those uh, fall, fall temperatures, you know, 50s and 60s, maybe 70s, but we'll see. Anyway, but these guys are enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, they're loving it. Mm, they like the cheese. They sure do. Wow, well, look who it is. Hello. My wife. Must have just got home from work. That's a scared the hell out of me. You scared me too. <laughs> yeah, you scared us both. Oh, did you get a few apples for him? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not. Well, we kind of stuffed him with uh... a lot of treats. Yeah, stuffed them with uh, treats, so. Hey, buddy. Well, you know yeah, usually. <laughs> Those look tasty. Oh, yeah. gonna eat an apple from mom. <laughs> That's his diet some grass and an apple. Yeah. Great. Some treats a day. There you go. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> He's so big. Oh, you're a good boy. You look yeah. so dumb. Yep, you're a good boy. I gave you all I had. Now he's gonna fall you and think you have more. Right. It's all gone. It's all gone. It's all gone. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? Uh, if we were one t-shirt, we would die of heat, but then if they wear all that fur, they don't die of heat. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bushy bro. I can see the side of his face, so I should catch stuff. Huh? Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I can smell pine I, I'm rubbing on it. Mm. It's cologne to him. Yeah. Hey, buddy. He was a glue and not. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Piper, what are you doing? Come here. Come on, doggy. Oh, there you go. Oh, boy. Yeah? What are you doing? What you doing, puppy? Come here. 
Oh yeah. And a good dog. Well guys, as you can see, we're still making progress on our hay shed here. I don't know if you can really tell, but uh, I got all that um, wire mesh plaster uh, lath backing in between all the logs for the chinking. And most of you probably knew about the doorway. I did go and get some three quarter inch rock and put that in in some of the corners. I just wanted to get an idea of what it was going to look like, how it was going to work. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good. After a while, it packed down really nice and gave a real good uh, firm floor for us to walk on. And of course, you can see in the center here, I filled in anywhere from probably four to maybe even eight inches of uh, regular dirt, chunks and all, just to kind of beef it up a little bit because, hey, let's face it, rock is expensive and I really did not want to fill in this whole thing with rock. Not at what they're charging me for it. So, And as you can also see, you're probably wondering about the posts. I don't have them all up yet. But these posts are added support for the trusses that are going to go up for the roof. So that way, I don't know if you can see it, but the tops of those are all level. It just may not look like they are just because, well, it's a log building. Logs have twists and curves and, you know, everything like that. But, uh... So each truss is going to go up from here and then also be anchored on the side. So it gives us a nice level surface across each side here, all the way across the top, instead of having to you know, adjust each truss for uh, variances and differences in the log. So again, we're making progress. And uh, I still got two more to put up over here. Just haven't gotten to it yet. Put in the chinking in between the logs. Put in the rest of the floor, and uh, I think that'll be it. So basically, I'm pretty much on schedule for getting this thing done. My goal is to have it done by October 31st, and uh, I see no reason why I won't be able to reach that goal. And uh, that'll be kind of nice because I love doing outside work. I love, you know, working with my hands. I love, uh, you know, just log and woodwork and all that kind of stuff like that. But you know, after a while, you're just kind of looking forward to the end of the project and seeing it completed and done. Uh, on one hand, that would be good, but at the same time, there's just other projects lining up too, so there's always something to do. And there we got a whole stack of lumber just ready to be made into trusses for that roof, so... Clearly, I've been doing a little shopping behind the scenes here, so we're just kind of gathering stuff together and making sure we have everything. These trusses will be held in place by these truss plates, if you can see that there. Whoop, if I can manage not to drop it. But they got these teeth on one side, and so, like, for example, here, if you were going to, you know, wanted to put some support in between these two boards here, you just hammer this in place, then it's just a nice flat metal surface, and these help to hold the pieces together. So that's what we're going to use. Oh, here comes Ed. Here comes Ed. What's he running after? So we've had some hot, muggy days lately, and uh, what a difference on the pond now compared to the beginning of the year. Look at that, we actually got a lot of the bottom of the pond on the edge there is visible. Of course, it's loaded with duck tracks, and I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Let's see if I can zoom in on one, but like right there. I don't know if it'll zoom. We got raccoon tracks all up and down here, so the raccoons have definitely been coming down here at night. Anyway, yeah, what a difference. You can see where the water line was. It was actually just up, right up to the green there. So we're down a good foot and a half at least. So the ducks haven't been spending as much time down here because honestly, in some areas they can walk almost all the way out to the middle and uh, then they're not as protected from predators and I think those guys know it. I don't know if any of you out there have chickens and ducks together but man there's always some kind of turf war going on between these guys. Most of the time they get along but every once in a while if somebody crosses into somebody else's territory or looks sideways you know which is really easy for a duck if you really look closely but if they ever look sideways at uh, you know, each other, man, it's war on. Oh, 
There he is in a wallow. Had to walk in front of me, didn't ya? God, some of these guys are just camera hogs. I'll give these guys a little treat here. Yep. Yeah, big mop. All right, here we go, guys. We're gonna like this. Yeah, did you see him jump back? Yeah, he got oh. scared. And I always get the hay shower. <laughs> nice and days. clean huh? bath of hay. What? What's that? It's a nice and clean bath of hay. Yeah, clean hay for the most part, unless the chickens have been in it. True. Yeah. Yeah, you got most of the hay on you, didn't <laughs> you? No, oh, the wind blowed it at me. Yeah, blowed it. Blow. Blew it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, blew it at me. All right. Here we go, guys. Another hay shower. Yeah, another. Okay, go. Here, just kind of hold that close for a second. All right. Stop filming. Actually, I'll film. We have to make sure that we don't get that blue string in with the hay when we throw it in there because, uh, you know, they'll eat it right along with the hay and not so good for the digestive system. Nope. Yeah. But it could get stuck or something because of the yeah, string. Yeah, we don't want that. There you go. Nice spice. Yeah. All right, so we head on out of here. Let's leave their dome. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. It'll be like in the car. Yeah, look at him eating. Look at that tortilla. He stuffs it all in the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, she's happy. She is very happy. She gets yeah. her own really big pile. That's it. Look at her. She kind of has some fun with it. <laughs> yeah. Playing with her food. Yep. She's still young. She does that. Look at her. She's just Ooh, getting... Oh, he just got in the bedroom. Yeah. Look at her. She's just getting right in there. <laughs> oh, look at the other one. They're all... The two little ones, they're super lucky because they get a big pile. Yeah. The other three, they have to share piles. And they like to play. Yep, they do like to play because they are a bison. They're gonna lose it again and then go oh. back again. Yep, and here comes the pig. He had to come in. This. <sighs> he saw they were having too much fun. It's kind of like a beaver when it sees a lake. Yeah. It has to, it has to put a stop to it. Yep. I can't allow that. He cannot he's allow. He's gonna chase him off too. He had a big pile over there, and he had to run over here. Yeah. At least Tootsie Roll gets another big pile. Oh. oh! Look at her, she's chasing her off too. Boy, those kids can't win, can they? No, they cannot. Every time they try to get some food, one of the big... Yeah. Come well, it's, there's a pecking order, that's for sure. Just like the chickens. Yeah. They sure have been drinking a lot of water lately. Yeah. yeah. Probably because of the heat and the humidity. I'm surprised they even feel the heat, if they can handle that big coat. Yeah, well. They're hardy, but yeah, they still feel the heat. Let's put one of those there. Get a buffalo fur for you to wear and see yeah, how you like that'll it. Keep, yeah, that'll keep you. See you walk in their hooves for a while. You yeah. try it. You can wear that to school yeah. and see what everybody thinks. Yeah. Horns and all. Yeah. <laughs> They'll be playing around in that for the rest of the night. It starts off a nice tasty hay for them and then turns into a big pile of like smeary poop. Yeah. <laughs> gee, Nick. Yeah, gee. Don't really. you bring out the bright side no of food. No kidding. You're going to get all, you're gonna get all technical food. like that. Gee. Take, well, you're pretty much buying take bison. Take the fun right? out of it. Actually, you know what? Raising bison's a lot like raising you when you were a baby. 
Is really. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Full moon, hon. Yeah. Very bright. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can actually kind of see. Well, <laughs> maybe not so much in the camera, but. But the bison are, I can hear them breathing out there. But they love it. <laughs> That's just crazy. Yeah. Hear that owl? Yeah. Yeah.